What do you need to do to truly take command of your life so that you navigate life with grace and ease in that wonderful state of flow where it seems like the universe has got your back? That's the topic of today's video. And I'd like to offer you one quick, very important, vitally important tip on how to master your intuition. It can be very confusing. Too often we think it's intuition and it's wishful thinking or it's fear. And how do you know that someone's truly telling you the truth? How do you know who to believe? How do you know what investment is best for you or what curriculum or who to study, who to train with? I mean, the list just goes on and on. We're making decisions all the time. Well, in all these years that I've been doing this work for The Silver Method, I'm in my now 49th year. It's hard to believe, guys. And if you've been following my work, you know I'm a great believer that you are far more than what you appear to be. In fact, you're even better. And that things are not always what they appear to be. So how do you start to truly take command of your life and get into that state of grace and ease? It's not perfection. It is definitely just a better and better state. We're moving, progressing. Well, when it comes to intuition, perhaps the single most important thing to do is to practice and to learn how to interpret the signals. I'm way past and don't subscribe to the guru model of you know, personal development. How about you? Too often we read books, too often we hear thought leaders, and they're fantastic and they're amazing people, but we feel less than. We feel like, you know, we could never do that, or, or they've got something better, or they're gifted. Well, I want to tell you, what you see usually with somebody who you think is gifted is a whole history of decades of practice, of mastery, of study, of research, of getting help, of training. It never stops. It's a lifelong process. And it's especially true when it comes to your inner compass, your inner wisdom, your gut, your hunch, your good luck quotient, or being in alignment with the divine where we're infinitely guided. So when you succeed in doing this, you'll find that you'll experience more synchronicities, more meaningful coincidences. It will seem like you've got good luck like never before. And frankly, I don't believe in good luck. I think it's a trainable skill. There are conditions, attitudes, mindset that we employ that help us to be or experience what we call good luck. So it's all about what? Perspective or interpretation. In order to trust your gut more effectively, in order to get off this slippery slope of being confused by what's real intuition that you can trust, what's truly divine guidance and what's not, it takes what in psychology is called the point of power or learning how to interpret the perspective, the values that you place or the, the attention you pay to what you experience. So in all these years of the Silver Method basic lecture series, or now what we call the Immersion Experience of Life and Intuition System, we employ, and I find, and I recommend this to you, what's called deliberate practice. There are numerous exercises where you as a participant, my students get immediate feedback so that they're not just taking my word for it, they know they're making progress. Even in the beginning, from being a little bit more relaxed, a little bit of pain reduction, getting to sleep a little bit easy, waking up. But there's a growing awareness, there's a, an awakening, if you will. And the games we play, especially that I want to focus on, are with intuition. Where you have an experience, call it a self-test, a self-evaluation. I prefer to make them as fun, as enjoyable, like a game. And you get immediate feedback. Meaning, you may have been on the money. I'm in awe. It never gets old. I just finished an immersion in the Chicago area and consistently in the three major games where they practiced as many as 13 or more times experiences. I mean, these people were off the charts. I was freaked out. I was in awe. It never gets old. I mean, I know we can do this. And we had a cellular biologist, two mediums who do this professionally. 
some people who never heard of this stuff and were really brand new were business people people who from the range of 78 years of age to I think in the early 20s and yet each and every one of them had a bona fide legitimate experience with their intuition repeatedly so what we did was we set it up in a way that they got what deliberate practice means if you're not familiar with the term it means that you do something you employ something you apply yourself and then you get immediate feedback as soon as possible so you get the feedback while you're in the zone while you're in that state of awareness while you're consciously because when you're dealing with intuition it comes from the subjective dimension of mind it just like your dreams often you know you had a dream you remember it but you can't even utter it out when you go to tell somebody moments later let alone hours later so often think can you relate have you ever had a flash of insight and then two minutes later it's gone and you're wondering well, what was it or you're thinking to do something so the deliberate practice that immediate feedback is essential it's necessary it makes all the difference so what I mean by the interpretation is if you're way off and sometimes people are or maybe only 25% accurate, or 30 or 50. The percentage is not relevant. It's relevant from the point of view of only to develop your trust. You begin to discern what's the difference that made the difference. And with that feedback, you begin to recognize, while you're in that state, you begin to recognize sometimes there was a, a chemical change in your gut, or maybe it was just a sense of knowing, or maybe you had a visual you know like a visual image maybe you heard something auditorily maybe it was a tingling in your hands in your fingers or in a, a twitch I mean these intuition works through us sometimes through our body physically through our mind our thoughts in many different ways and it's important for you each of us myself all of us to recognize our own distinct personalized way of accessing intuition and when we're on the money when we're off so what I want you to do is start journaling physically write down keep a journal plus even more important reflect on it when you're not going to be interrupted close your eyes just spend a few moments on reliving an experience you had when you were on the money you said oh I wish I had listened I know better what was it a thought a feeling a sense a tingling a sense of knowing or maybe you did listen either way either way pay attention and reflect on it so that you lock it in write it down journal it make a study of it and if you do that often enough you'll begin to recognize patterns you'll begin to recognize distinctions for you personally that will help you to know what the difference is that makes the difference when you can trust it and my friends Please, when you do this, you'll begin to develop a high level of certainty, of confidence. And some people call it the confidence competence loop. So when you have this growing sense of certainty and confidence, that will give you the courage to apply more, to experiment more, to test. And then you get more results and that will give you more competence because practice makes perfect practice makes better practice builds the competence it's a skill set and with that competence you'll have more courage you'll apply more you'll be courageous enough to you know to check it out to test more and that will give you more confidence and with that confidence just imagine you will begin to stop following the follower you will begin to get through to excuse me the bullshit who can you trust who can you really especially on the internet especially with all the ads and so on how do you know that what they're telling you their story or whatever that you can truly because you may not always be able to vet it so you begin to develop this inner radar your own inner bullshit meter it'll help you make better decisions it'll help you choose who to train with who to hire as a coach what curriculum to pick what book to read who to listen to and you'll find yourself even something as simple as finding parking spaces where you need them to be and the list goes on you'll begin to experience the feeling where it seems like the universe is whoa thank you has got your back 
more meaningful coincidences, more synchronicities that help you to step forward, that help you to scale up your game in life, that help you to truly take command and navigate your life with grace and ease. So remember, you are far more than what you appear to be. In fact, you're better. I hope you find this helpful. More to come. If you'd like more to come, please do me a solid. If this is on my YouTube channel, subscribe to it. Facebook, like my business page or on Instagram. Then you'll get updates when immediately when I post new content, more training videos. And also, do me a solid. If you're finding this helpful and you know of some people who you think could benefit, please share it. That way, they'll get some help. That way, they'll be introduced to something that could just make all the world of difference in their life. Thanks so much for listening. This is Ken Kasha. I serve as the training director for The Silver Method and lead instructor. And basically, guys, for nearly 49 years, I've been helping people to navigate life with grace and ease in a four-day immersion called Life and Intuition System. We used to call it Basic Lecture Series for you people who started like me back in the early 70s. Thanks again. Till the next time.